we're uh, towing down it's an autumn day don't know if we're gonna get much in but we'll see how it goes um, excuse me looking here so actually the ring doesn't get quite the post turn the glider down it's an autumn day um, turns look alright but uh, be interesting to see how the day goes if I pan around that way you can see the sky up there it's not too bad if I pan around that way mmm doesn't look too good there's a few people down here and there's a glider following one behind us so we'll see what happens right here we are down the field SK21 is getting ready to take a passenger flight. Phil and Peter. So they're ready to go. Rod's sitting in the tow plane ready. Day looks absolutely rubbish that way. And looks optimistic that way. So we'll see what happens. You never know. Well, there they go, just launching the SK21.
surprisingly good climb considering. Wasn't expecting this. Got a cloud right above us, so I should imagine this is where this is coming from. Got another glider off over that way. Well, 5 3 out of that one, that's quite respectable for an autumn day that's fast approaching winter. Um, we'll glide over this other, other cloud over here, see what that does. Hopefully, it does something. Otherwise we've got more than we uh, bargained for so far, so that's pretty good. Very nice. Well, just up at Cloud Base over towards Kalani Way. Um, not sure where I'm going to go now. Um, it's not too bad. Uh, I mean, there's, there's climbs, it's a bit patchy in between. Um, it's not a lot of sun. The uh, overcast has sort of started to come in a bit. in this direction. Mm, it just doesn't look very sunny down that way, does it? It's a bit sunny behind us here. Oh, now I'm getting roared up. If I head this way, I'm heading towards the coast. And generally what happens if you head that way is the cloud base gets lower and lower as you get closer. Um, might just go this way for a bit. This is predominantly sort of upwind, so it's easier to go back home again, I guess. But, um, yeah, we'll go under these clouds and see what happens under, under here. It's um, not a bad day though, so not too bad at all. So now we'll see if these clouds actually do anything or whether they're just here to play with us. So there's only a, one other glider at the field today. A few other um, light aircraft around, which is usual. They do a bit of training and stuff like that. Um, we might have something here. It's not a big climb, but we'll take a little bit of a gentle climb. Hopefully it turns into something more. We'll move across towards the other side of the cloud. That's picturesque um, Karelbin down below us. It's a little airstrip there, you don't get much traffic in there. In fact, I've never actually seen a plane land or take off from there. But um, I'm sure they do. There's a couple of planes in the hangars there. It's a very narrow strip, and those hills around it are really quite high, so it'll be an interesting approach into there. It doesn't look like it from here, but. Um, yeah, they're pretty high some of those hills. Alright, I'll talk to you again when we get to the top of here. 5,000, so we'll head over this way. It's a bit sunny looking over that way. It looks friggin' grim behind us. So I just want to be a little bit careful of how far away from the home I go. So I can still get back again. We'll go over this way, see if we get climb under here then decide whether we just zigzag back and stay local or what we do. Um, I don't really want to outland somewhere today, there's uh, not a very big crew of people on. So uh, 
if I did out there, I'd probably be sitting in a paddock for quite some time, I think. That Cloud Street over there looks pretty awesome. Maybe I should, if I get into this one, maybe I should go up to that one. This one keeps going that way. It's just sort of towards home. Home's sort of over that way. Um, that's the uh, Gold Coast. You can see the buildings over there if you've got really good eyes. I can see them easy on this camera. I might, um, with my eyes, but with this camera it might be a little bit difficult. Well, as I thought, the uh, overcast is so much that the day is definitely falling apart at the moment. There's little bits of low lift, but when you turn in them, nothing really happens. Uh, what do I do? There's a patch of sun over by the field over there. My gut instinct is to head over that way. But I'm also tempted to hang around in this sort of zero sink stuff and let that sun get a bit closer to that blue hole over there before I head over that way. Hmm, predicament. We'll see what happens. We have a darkening black hole where we are. Head out this way. I have my doubts whether this is going to work but we are heading back towards the field so it's not the end of the world. Take any little bubbles that come along. I'm not sure what these bits are. They might just be a bit of terrain induced lift. Nice to be back at Cloud Base again now. That'll be a bit better. But we're not on the ground yet, so it's all good. We're basically heading 90 degrees to the wind at the moment, and whether there's some light waves or lift or something, I don't know. Chances are if I turned around and did a reciprocal course, that wouldn't happen. The cloud over the dam looks good, but it's probably going to fall to bits too. Oh, well, we've had an hour in the air, so it's alright. Kind of more than I thought we'd have in some ways amount of overcast we've got going on. Okay, I'll see what happens. Didn't see much in the way of lift over the ridge then. The cloud we were in over there you can see it's disintegrating. Um, Bravo Golf Echo just went down and landed. So we're heading back towards the field. I don't know, we might be back home. Oh well, we've had an hour and fifteen. So it hasn't been too bad. It's very still at the moment to be expected though when the sun goes away. Need that thermal engine up there, keep it keep it cranking. There's not enough wind for any of the ridges at the moment. The direction isn't that good either for many of these ridges. Beautiful smooth glide, looking at the view.
be a miracle if we go up now. This is the uh, ridge that's at the end of our strip. Not a very long ridge. It does work. Um, you need a reasonable amount of wind on it to make something happen. Moment. I think I'm probably more in the lee of it than in the front of it there. The wind's sort of coming in that way, so it's not, not good for either direction at the moment. It's sort of going around it. Yeah, we're just getting bumps off it. Okay, we might have to go and land, I think. Okay, the carriage is down and locked. Traffic Beano Glider, Whiskey Victor Foxtrot, joining left downwind, 2-2. Okay, undercarriage down the box. Two left, Bernard. And turning file. Smoothest, but it'll do. Oh, back on the ground. Some kind person's already bringing my car down. So, there comes my car. Alright, so we're back again. Um, as you can see here, the glider's now hooked up onto the uh, car. So, we tie it back up the field again. Tie it back up here down the runway. Breeze is coming from about that way, so no wonder we had a bit of a bounce, had a bit of tailwind there, but they're operating off this end of the strip and the car was down here, so fair enough to bring it back down for it. So we'll hook up, well, we're all hooked up here, we'll drive off down the strip before these guys go down too much further. Sun's coming out again now though, look. Oh, we're here now, that was good.